come along yeah. and change the fundamental definitions of pillars of society. It has significant ramifications. And earlier tonight, Dr. Carson gave us this statement. It reads, quote, I regret the comments I made last week on this program, and I'm truly sorry if I offended some. It was certainly not my intention to equate those groups. They are obviously not comparable. Now, those who know me well know I have no hate in my heart for anyone. I have long believed in equal rights for gays, just not the redefinition of marriage. The real issue here is whether marriage should be redefined and what the ramifications of doing that are. I've been struck by how frightened people are to express their true feelings on the issue. It's what I was talking about at the National Prayer Breakfast and will require both courage and kindness to reclaim the values of this nation. Joining me now with reaction are the chief strategist for the Tea Party.net, and that's Nigel Innes, and civil rights attorney, talk radio, KBC 790 talk show host, Leo Terrell. Welcome back, both of you. Good to see you. Leo, good to welcome be on. back. Thank you. Long before, now if you listen very closely to what he said, and he said it didn't come out basically the way he wanted it to, but he's saying, he said again and again, that nobody should have the ability to change the historical definition of marriage. That, does, that to me, this issue is only a side issue. The big issue, even before this is, if you're African American and you're conservative, you are vilified, you are demonized, you are called names, you are attacked. That is the ongoing epidemic that goes on. There's no freedom of speech for African-American conservatives I'm, in America. No, that's not, that's not oh, yes, true. It is. Sean Hannity, you created a monster. Ben Carson, you're a doctor. You're not a politician. This man, and you're uh, a Senator lawyer. Rob you're not Portman a talk and show Vice, Pre Vice President Dick Cheney, uh, Ben Carson thinks your children are social deviants. This guy is a that's monster not what he because said. you created that's him. That's not what he you said. You created him. What do you, you mean created I created him? him. This guy God is a created him. Okay, God, I'm not the creator. I don't breathe life into people. Ever, Dr. <laughs> Big Carson put his size 12 foot in his mouth because ever hey, since Leo, that prayer Leo, breakfast, hey, take a you have had Leo, it all. I've known you He's for not, a long time. You put your foot in the mouth, your mouth all the time. Oh, You've no. done it a lot this in your guy, life. This guy has equated homosexuality to bestiality. He has made oh, a big that's mistake. It. So he apologized. Is, is it a death hospital. sentence? He it's can't speak out enough. because he's a surgeon? It's not good enough. You know, the, 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 the bigger current, issue here, Nigel, you have, is... You have elevated this guy to 15 minutes of fame. I like, I like him. I, he's a, I think he's a friend. He's articulate. He's smart. He's got common sense. Niger, this is an epidemic. African-American, conservative, this is what happens. This happened before this, this, this whole issue even came up. They were attacking him on the left. No, no question about it. And ben, I, I disagree with uh, my buddy, uh, Leo Terrell. I think Ben Carson is a hero. He's a wonderful role model. He's a credit to the race, the human race. He's an outstanding individual. Well and we need, more, we need more individuals like Ben Carson, Dr. Ben Carson, in politics, not less. And, you know, for the students and for an, in, an intellectual institution that is supposed to be about uh, uh, welcoming different points of view, different ideas Niger, to a university eight setting. No, only eight. No. He, this, well, guy, yeah, this, guy right. a, this guy is a. I'm sure Leo. Of, I'm Leo. Of Leo I'm sure you Sean are Hannity not for censorship. I created him. I created him. I'm sure oh, I'm you not are not for censorship. No, that's I'm, not no, true. Not. Dr. Ben but Carson has been an outstanding mouth. individual. We gave him an award right over 10 years ago. He's an outstanding he's role model for our country. And Leo Terrell, you should be ashamed. He's talking about gay You should be ashamed of promoting censorship. You are talking about censorship and an academic. Leo, you should be ashamed of yourself. Leo, you put no. your foot in your you mouth a lot. Wait a minute. Over the years, oh, I've heard you no, say boy. things. Oh, you've never apologized oh, for things you said? I know what I'm talking about. Have you, have you I know what apologized? I'm about. I, I have you I said things this. you regret? He put his foot in his mouth. Have he you put said, his foot in his mouth. Here's my question. Have you said things you regret? Absolutely not. I know what I'm no. talking about. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> I'm a community <laughs> activist. I know what I'm doing. Right. That's a, hey, Let's hey, go. I got the credentials. Let me give you another example. I have Let, the hang credentials. on a second. Now, the, compare, the, compare the treatment of Dr. Carson, which has been over the top even before this statement. And let's go, for example, the president, it was nice to see him outside of Jeremiah Wright's church, and he went to see the Reverend Louis Leon in his sermon. And this is what uh, was said during the sermon, reportedly. It drives me crazy when the captains of the religious right are all, all, always calling us back. Uh, for blacks to be uh, back in the back of the bus, for women to be back in the kitchen, for immigrants to be back on their side of the border. Leo, can you name one, one uh, person that's calling for those things? That's a question. Oh, okay. 
Leo, can you name I one person? I want to talk about Ben Carson. Can you I want to talk about, I want to, I'm, I'm asking you, talk about Ben Carson. But I'm talking about the double say. Can you name one person that supports Shut the up. views of Obama's new pastor? Da, 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 da. Well, uh, while Leo's speaking about it, let me, let me mention the litany of horrors, the chamber of horrors of speakers, left-wing speakers, oh, that have had the opportunity from Bill Ayers, who's a trustee at Northwestern University, to convicted cop killer Mumia Abu-Jamal, who was a keynote speaker at an institution. I mean, come on, the hypocrisy right. is outrageous. And Leo, for you, an attorney, to be I'm for uh, Joe Why McCarthy, do you always take like shots? View. Censorship. Why do you always, Joe always McCart an apologist Joe for Sean Hannity? Censorship. Why? I'm an apologist Why are you always for an apologist truth, Leo? For Sean Hannity? And Leo, Fox News. I know the Why truth do do feels like hell, but it's you're just not on the any truth, other program. You're, you're not you on any other program, to, Leo, but Fox News and Sean Hannity. Why? It's That's getting too loud. Wait Why do I see Censorship you on any other program? Wait a minute, Leo. Hang on. Now let me go to you the are, next. You are a one-trick pony. Leo, wait a minute. You are only on one network. We're going to go to another Fox News and the Sean Hannity program. Cut their mics for a second. No, no. Wait a minute. Now I'm going to go to another point. Let's go to the race baiting dog whistles over at NBC News. Now let's look at what they did a segment about Walmart. Walmart's one of the biggest provider of jobs and opportunity for people around the country. Now listen to how that's portrayed on NBC News, uh, in this case without Brian Williams. It's sort of like I, all I could think about was when you're saying this is like this is like sharecropping, except this is oh, a giant wow. company store, right? And the company store is feeding itself off mm -hmm. of both the government and the people that it's enslaving. So if you have this system that's going in this in this constant circle of sharecropping, they're robbing both sides. Mm -hmm. They're that's robbing right. our government and they're robbing us and they're robbing us because they won't even pay the taxes that they're supposed to pay. All right, so we see the treatment of Ben Carson. We see the treatment of Obama's pastor from this weekend. Nothing in the mainstream media. And then we see this on NBC, this comment that has made hardly an uproar anywhere. And I want to ask uproar. Leo, Leo Terrell, are yes. do those yes. things outrage you as much as uh, Dr. Carson, who spent most of his life helping children and saving people's lives? Let me think about that. No! Big Carson is a doctor. Stay in the hospital. This woman was expressing well, lawyer, her views about the, corporate America. Stay in the courtroom. Stay in the, Big Carson, stay in the hospital. Hey, Sean, Sean, I've been in the community. I know what's going on out so there. Now you're just an apologist. Dr. Carson, you created Dr. Carson ever since February 15th. All of a sudden, I, I he knows him. everything about he politics. Created himself. You created a monster. You created, created a guy him. who has he's 15 minutes of fame. You call he's him a monster he's now, out of time now. Leo, he has no more Leo, fame. He has no more fame. Hey, I Simpson, you're, you're, calling Leo, Dr. Leo. you're calling Dr. Well, well, Carson Leo's a monster, <laughs> and you're friends with O.J. <laughs> Leo uh, is a, a little bit of an intellectual tyrant, an arbiter of who should be on TV, who should not be on TV. Leo, I agree with you. There are other programs that should have me on. I mean, I used to be a commentator for MSNBC and for CNN. So my breadth of experience and years were working for the Congress of Racial Equality, you're right. There should be voices like mine and other black conservatives on a variety of networks, but there is a censorship that you you and the likes of you are trying to promote if you're a conservative the media and academia. That's if you're a conservative African American. So yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, uh, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And coming up.